Hello everyone, my name is Ilan Aknin, an electronic engineer at Sivan Lasers. And today I want to show you how to integrate and to interface the Sivan's dynamic beam lasers. The laser is made of three main units, the power supply cabinet, the optical cabinet, and the AOH. Chilo is needed, of course, to operate the laser. The electrical connection between the power supply cabinet and the optical cabinet can be up to 20 meters and up to seven meter between the optical cabinet and the AOH. This allows flexibility in the placement of the system. The output of the laser is a free space collimated beams with a clear aperture of 22 millimeters. Focus lens is needed to get the required spot size. And as a result, in the spot size, you will get the beam shape. The laser is a single mode output for example, with the focal length of 1500 millimeters, the spot size will be 85 micron. That allows to steer within 520 micrometers, which is approximately six times the line width. All this with a very high speed, about 50 megahertz. The total area covered by the beam in this example is 950 micrometers. The laser is delivered with a software that allows to create your own shape and to define the number of dots, the intensity, and the order of them. The shape is then stored into a FPGA device and you can create and store your own shape up to 256 shapes. As a feedback, when operating the laser, you will see the selected shape in the main GUI. The laser control interface is very, very simple, and there is a standard functions to control the laser power as a standard feature, which is the first one of them is the power control that with an analog signal between zero and 10 volt, you can control the power of the laser. Another signal is the laser enable with digital signal that turn on and off the laser. The signal can be also pulsed up to 5 kHz if QCW operation is needed. For the beam control, there is a digital UART signal over RS-422 communication and a Ethernet connection for system monitoring. To control the unique beam shape feature of Sivan laser, which is exclusively the feature of Sivan, that permits you to control five parameters of the beam shape. The first one is the sequence ID. You can select in the lookup table the shape you want to achieve, and also you can create your own sequence of shapes. You can control the X axis offset, the Y axis offset, and the Z shift focus. The angle of the shape, you can control it as well, and that allow you to always be perpendicular to the laser path. Integrating dynamic beam laser into machines, there is two optical configuration, either flying optics or fixed optics. Well, with flying optics, there is almost no restriction of length between the AOH and the optical elements. The laser can interface with components like welding heads or galvo scanners that can enhance system performance and process robustness. Welding machine or cell is composed by several modules. First, the PLC is used as a master and send command to multi-axis system and to the laser for real-time synchronization. Of course, in those cells, there is a need as a standard welding cell of an interlock cabin, a dust collector, gas, and camera. With fixed optics, the laser can interface with a six-axis robotic arm. The laser system can also be interfaced with a five-axis CNC machine. Here, with this configuration, the AOH output goes through a focus lens and then through the scanner, where here, in real time, the scanner will be the master and will control the dynamic beam. Here, a configuration of flying optics where the optical head is static and the mirrors are moving along the x-axis, y-axis, and z-shift focus. In order to cover all the range of the workpiece area and to always operating with the focused beam. Here, two short illustrations of flying and fixed optic moving at 30 meters per minute. This is an example of fixed optics.
And here an example of flying optics. Again, moving at 30 meter per minute. My name is Elon Acklin, electronic engineer at Sivan Laser, and feel free to contact us for more information. Thank you.